Hey, um, yeah, welcome guys to uh, Coffee on Couchbase, where we learn from developers around the world um, that's pretty much working on really cool projects. So today we have Ray joining us from India, who recently um, released an app on the Android Google Play Store. So for viewers out there, Ray, do you mind introducing yourself and what you're working on? Love to hear. Yeah, hi, I'm Ray. I'm from Bangalore. And basically, I'm working on backend and uh, Node.js, you and Python, and I shifted to Android development recently. And I'm working on an app called Cactus Basically, it's a business uh, card sharing app using mobile. And whenever you want to edit it, you can just edit it and share it with a QR code. That's about what the basic app is about. I definitely want to learn about Caxcar more, but uh, before that, how did you hear about Couchbase Mobile? Couch, uh, Couchbase is a long story. So we started with uh, Active Android, and we went through a long process. We, we kept on shifting the code, migrated it a lot. Then we thought there will be a NoSQL, NoSQL solution, which is much better. So we shifted to NoSQL, and I was reviewing a lot of uh, NoSQL databases so then uh, after long review i i found in everywhere every place i found coachbase as a thing so i shifted to coachbase i learned a lot about it that's, that's great to know um so with your experience how do you how do you feel like um the overall experience is your experience for using couchbase in your project so yeah it is it is very simple first thing to say it's very simple not at all complex uh, and basic thing what I missed is a CRUD operation, basic CRUD operation, which I have created it myself, a database wrapper and solved it. But it was, the rest of the part is amazing. So it's very simple. Um, how, did, how long did it take you to get set up then? It took like two to three hours. So that's pretty fast. Um, how would you rate it? Two to three hours is really fast, but how would you rate the overall experience? Then? I would rate it five out of five. No doubt I would rate it five out of five because there are many things which College DB provides. Like like what? Like why, why five out of five? Uh, the main feature uh, which I have not used personally, but I love to use, and we are using it in our future project is the sync feature, which College Space provides. It's amazing feature. And uh, it's basically what we share information, right? It keeps on sharing with the multiple team base. So that is what we are, that is why I give it for five out of five. I, I'm curious about Caxcar, like how does the, um, so Couchbase is a NoSQL uh, mobile database solution. So how does a NoSQL fit into uh, your particular project? So when we started it, right, so it, it basically we needed a NoSQL solution because we are a startup and the schema keeps on improving day by day. So we had integrated Facebook uh, feature and Twitter feature. So we needed a NoSQL solution. So if I can't keep on changing them or migrating the SQL for, for every Android release. So I just kept it NoSQL as a basic solution. It's pretty cool. So because it's a NoSQL solution, how much NoSQL background do you think you need before you can get started and, and working on a project like this? So basically, I come from a NoSQL and SQL background, so I know both, but it's pretty simple to get started with NoSQL because the main thing is it's just one language. You don't have to write uh, SQL data and, and go through this, so it's just basically one thing. So that is how I think NoSQL is solving it. I think that's really cool. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'm in a coffee shop, so um, if there's some coffee noise, I'm muting myself. But yeah, I, I love to know like the ease of use, the time. That's great, and the NoSQL side. But like, why why did you fully embrace um, Couchbase? Like, that's would love to share your story to developers out there. So, as I've said, to you like sync is a main feature which we are related on. So. So we are going with that feature in the future. So that's why I like it. Cool. Um, so 
tax card, your project. Um, love to see it. Um, maybe show it off a bit, um, and then maybe, yeah, show how some of this um, couch-based stuff works in your project. Maybe walk through some code. Love to see sure. it myself. It's, it's basically a simple app. So if I can share my screen, yep. so um, this is the app. Basically, it has a simple thing. It's a card. So just share your QR code with someone and it keeps sharing and they can add your tax card and see your details, your phone number. So whenever you're in an event, you just wear a this QR code and print this QR code and just go so they can get your details. So what I have done is added it to my visiting card. So whenever they are there, they can just show it like that. And how we have architected is a wonder. It's like a simple thing, but it is very useful for other developers. So what we have done is a database wrapper. So this database wrapper, it has multiple functions on it. The database function wrapper or this entire class has uh, manages the entire DB. Example, opening the DB, closing the DB, uh, adding attachments and writing attachments, that and getting attachments and the entire CRUD operations with the hash map. So that is how we have used it. Oh, I see some. Yeah, yeah, I was just going to ask. I see some model classes there. What, what are those? What are those for? So the small classes are basically very simple. They this is a function which I have. This is an object which I have created to get uh, each document out of that ID. So example is the user model. It's a basic fun, basic model which has which stores the username, full name of the user, entire thing. And it has a card model, which is the entire card details. There are entire phone number, company, everything. So this can expand a lot. So this is the basic thing. This is the basic class or object way which we we keep on updating. So later we can add a Facebook uh, model or something. It keeps on updating. So what we do is we get everything from a factory, card factory, and push it to the card model. And when we are getting also, we get the card and get it as an object of this card, card model. So everything is saved like that. That's pretty, that's pretty neat. So if I can summarize this a bit, um, your, your data wrapper here is essentially creating a, a management uh, manager instance that uh, operates and can create databases. So yeah. why hash, why hash map? Um, why'd you use a hash map there? Basically hash map is a representation of the, the main thing about hash map is it, it represents the NoSQL. It is a JSON object in Java. So that is why we use hash map as a basic thing. Okay, so you, from that you would store it into a, a document and exactly. take that document exactly. and then you exactly. Put it in database. It's very simple if we store it as a hash hash map. Okay, so what did you use attachments for? Uh, I saw some attachment code there. I I can't hear you. Oh, um, I saw I saw you your use of attachments. Um, is that correct? Yeah, so I have used attachments uh, for the picture and this thing the qr code and if there is another things like uh, thumbnails and all so i can just get the attachments it's it's basically storing the images as well as multiple things so small attachments example if you share the card what goes is a picture of a card not just uh, the this card it, it doesn't send a vr card actually it sends a picture of the card so it is like a physical card so that's the basic thing what we are storing in the DB. So it will, it keeps on updating cool. as that. That's cool. Wow, it's, that, that's really neat. Um, yeah, thanks, thanks for sharing that. So it, the, the app is live, right? It's, uh, you yeah, tell me it's, it's live. It's on Play Store. It's called Cax Card. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I definitely will try it out and uh, share it with the viewers. Um, that, that's, uh, Thank you. That's yeah. So, uh, yeah, where is this hosted on right now? Uh, it's presently hosted on DigitalOcean, and we're, we're going to shift it to AWS. Okay. Cool. Well, um, good luck. I'm, I'm looking forward to your additional features and uh, uh, your, your next adventures. And um, yeah, thank you for joining us uh, today for thank uh, you. Coffee on, on Couchbase. Thank you. Bye, Ray. Good luck. Bye.